So I thought I'd update you on the aftermath and what happened. Kudos to the folks who commented on the video. A lot of what they predicted would transpire did happen. After that, I maintained no contact and just got on with my life. About two months later, I was having drinks with her sister's boyfriend and some other guys. The sister's boyfriend is a longtime friend and sometime employee, so we know each other well. He filled me in on the whole story. And everyone got fired, divorce filed, and dumped. The karma ship definitely came in for everyone. <laughs> oh, I love it. what's going on everybody we are back with another subscriber email guys this is a follow-up story of a story i did three months ago so the subscriber sent in a story i think it was three months ago something like that but he sent in a story open relationship story his girlfriend asked for the open relationship it backfired as usual he is back and he has returned and wants to um Give us an update on his story. Yeah, he says here is a few months ago. Yeah, I know what story you're talking about. He actually provided the link, which is good. If you guys have a follow up to any story you have, or if you saw that there was an update to a story that you would like to hear me do, just uh, let me know the title or put the link in there, and uh, I'll be able to see it. Um, but like usual, I'm going to play his original story first. If you want to just skip straight to the update, go down to the description, click the timestamp that says update, and it'll take you straight to this update. But uh, it's always nice to hear the story from the beginning and then hearing the second part, hearing it all together. So uh, guys, without further ado, let's get into this follow up story. That's true story nation at gmail.com. Girlfriend was asking for an open relationship. Hello, True Story Nation. I found your channel while searching for advice about open relationships. Wow. Specifically, whether or not they actually work out. Based on the stories you and others have shared, it's safe to say they do not. The reason for the research is I recently broke up with a girl I was very much in love with because she wanted that for us. In the days following the breakup, I was questioning if I had done the right thing. Now I know for certain I have. See, look, man, out here saving lives. Out here saving lives. <laughs> Salute to you, man. I am a 26-year-old male. I own a successful photography business, a nice townhouse, and was dating the girl of my dreams. I thought life could not be any more perfect. The girl's 25 years old, retail manager. Let's call her S. She and I had been together almost two years and I was planning on proposing this summer on a planned vacation to Spain. Everything was going so well, until it wasn't. She had the talk with me about opening our relationship the weekend before last. It was well rehearsed and almost sounded like she was re reciting something someone else told her. We are young, we can explore and have fun, she said, and it will make our relationship so much stronger and we can share our experiences. The kicker was, I love you so much and only want to be with you. This is just sex. We always come back to each other. I didn't say a word until she was finished. My stomach felt like it had acid poured into it. My heart was pounding so hard it physically hurt. She was asking me what I thought, and I took a full minute to formulate a reply. I knew the next thing I said would be important, so I wanted to get it right. Just then, a feeling of complete calm came over me. All the hurt, trepidation, and nervousness just vanished. I knew that it was over. The relationship had ended and all that was left 
to do was sweep up the broken pieces. I had found the calm resoluteness of a man discussing a thing that had already happened, though I was asking her the only question I had. So, who is he? I was asking. What do you mean? She replied. The guy you have in mind, I answered. She assured me there was no one. I told her I didn't believe that for a second. You're asking me for this for one of three reasons. First, you have a guy picked out and are already sleeping with him and want to get it out in the open for one reason or another. Or two, you have a guy picked out and haven't started sleeping with him yet, but want to and want my permission to do it. Or three, it's either of the first two only you think you might have a future with him, but want to keep me holding on as a backup plan if it doesn't work out. So, who is he? She looked at me with a deer in the headlights look. For a brief moment, I was getting angry and was about to make things even more uncomfortable for her. But she started to cry and I softened up. This is the end, I decided. It didn't have to be nasty. You don't have to answer, I said. It doesn't matter who he is. I told her I do not cheat and I do not share. I only wanted to be in a relationship with a woman who wanted to be with me exclusively. We were going to go our separate ways now. I think it took her a second to realize what I was saying, but once she did, she really became upset and insisting this isn't what she wanted. She was asking if we could just pretend this never happened and forget the whole thing. I told her we could not because she had demonstrated we have a fundamental incompatibility. That makes continuing a relationship impossible. But I love you, she cried. I took her hands and told her I loved her too. But she and I define the word love in different ways. It would break my heart to know the woman I loved was with another man. Just a minute before, she told me she was going to go do that very thing and suggested I do the same. That isn't love. The truth is, if I had done as she was asking and forgot the whole thing, she still would have hooked up with that guy. Yep. Smart man here. Smart man. However, whoever he was. She would have just done it behind my back, or she would have been resentful. I didn't agree in that I would have caused other problems. Once that open relationship request is out, <laughs> it's over. One way or another, even if you don't go through with it, the relationship is still over. Oh, I like this guy. He is learning. <laughs> Salute to this guy. The rest of the conversation went calmly. As she was leaving, she apologized and was asking what we would tell our friends. The truth, I replied. She started to shake her head and say something, but I held up my hand. The truth is, we had a great time together, but we both want something different and mutually exclusive going forward. The more I thought about it, the more satisfied I was that I didn't give in to that sudden flash of anger and make it ugly. I'm also pretty amazed at how calm and clearly I was able to focus once I realized this was the end. She thought she was trying to persuade me into making a decision, but there was no decision. It was over one way or another, either then and there with some dignity or weeks or months later with her choosing someone else, or me choosing someone else. Better to just end it there. I hate to say it, but I missed her terribly right after. And I started wondering if maybe we could have made it work. Of course, we could not have because an open relationship is no relationship at all. It's a farce. Thank you for your work you are doing with the True Story channel. I'd bet it prevented more than a few guys from making a big mistake. To all the guys out there, respect your women, but above all, respect yourselves. As Shakespeare once wrote, self-love is not so vile a sin as self-neglecting. Salute to this guy. <laughs> Man, I, I like it when I get an email from you guys. And I get other emails, people, you know, thanking me for things. Um, I Man, I, this guy doing well for himself. You know, he's got him his townhouse, you know what I'm saying? 
You know, he's got a good business going for himself. He's doing his thing. He thought his girl was a good girl. He went to the internet to find answers. Like, hold on. Open relationship? Where'd she get this from? What are you talking about? And he went to the internet. A lot of people end up on Reddit. A lot of people end up on YouTube. Sir, when I was going through the issues I was going through in 2018, I went to the internet too, and I ended up on YouTube. Hearing all this, all these different guys, all these different guys talking about gaslighting. I, I remember that was one of the things I found out. Gaslighting. I'm like, gaslighting? What is this? And I'm just like, wow, she does do this. She does do that. And at the time, I didn't hear any stories. It was just guys just talking about female nature and, and the things they do and how to catch cheating and how to know if they may be cheating and all this stuff. Man, it helped me so much. I said, this is exactly what she's doing. And if anybody remembers my first story, and then I repeated the story when I started the True Story podcast. On here. I, for a little bit, I did something called a True Story podcast, if anybody remembers. If anybody remembers. And I told the story again in full length. And it was like, it's a two-part two part video. Um, I said how I went through that phone and I just, I saw everything, man. I, it's, I, it's like, wow, it's like these guys knew me personally. It's like these guys were just sitting watching my relationship and they knew everything she was doing and everything a lot of these different people were saying they were right they were 100 percent correct i said wow wow man <laughs> it was amazing this is freaking amazing i'm glad you i'm glad you you found this channel I hope other channels that you found um, helped you out too. You know, um, I'm I'm glad a story or maybe two that I read because I've done a lot of open relationship stories. People will tell you here uh, uh, lately. Um, I'm glad that a story that I read helped you, man. You know, um, guys, what if he went searching on the internet and didn't find anything? You know, and maybe he said, all right, let's try it out, I guess. Well, I do get to be with other women. I guess, I guess that's just how things are. And he ends up in some bull crap. A mess that he can't get out of. Guys. I started doing these stories. Because for once, initially, I did it for myself because I wanted to. I didn't have anybody to talk to, but it turned into me reading you guys' stories from the comments. People will put stories in the comments. People will type out stuff in the comments. It, it, it was like that when I first started. And then I started telling people, hey, email me, send an email. And I would read the stories and it turned into reading articles and then reading Reddit and all that stuff. So, man. Salute to you, man. Um, I appreciate that story. Great story. You did the right thing. Hopefully you stick around. Uh, if you want to say something in the comments, it's on you. I'm not going to say your name or anything, but salute to you. Salute to your business. I hope I wish you more success in your business. I wish you more success in life, man. Hello, True Story Nation. A few months ago, I emailed you about a conversation my now ex-girlfriend initiated asking for an open relationship. It was a hard no on that, and I broke things off with her. This is the link to your video. All right, we got that. So I thought I'd update you on the aftermath and what happened. Kudos to the folks who commented on the video. A lot of what they predicted what transpired did happen. After she left my house that day, I did not hear from my ex-girlfriend for almost two weeks. I next saw her again at a party at a mutual friend's house. We have the same friend group, and most of them knew some version of what happened between us. 
Several of them was asking me about it and I told them exactly what I told her I would. That she was a great girl and did nothing wrong and that we just wanted different things. It turns out she was not nearly so charitable when talking about me. Big surprise, right? Some of that had filtered back to me, but I just let it slide. At that party, she shows up with a date. He was an older man I recognized from her company, maybe 10 years older than her, and I, and I was pretty sure he was married, but I figured it was none of my business. I said hello to her and shook the guy's hand and was polite and friendly. Hey, she's an ex. She can do whatever she wants. The rest of the night, she was all over that guy. I mean, full on make out and fill ups while dancing. A few lewd jokes and in sexual innuendo and conversations with other guests to top it off. And it was all done where I could see it or hear it. Mm -hmm, that was purposely done. I swear they would walk across a room to stand somewhere I could see them carry on. I have to tell you, True, it was quite a spectacle and a lot of folks there thought it was distasteful. It definitely annoyed me, but it didn't make me jealous. It just made me glad all this happened before I proposed. After that, I maintained no contact and just got on with my life. About two months later, I was having drinks with her sister's boyfriend and some other guys. The sister's boyfriend is a longtime friend and sometime employee, so we know each other well. He filled me in on the whole story. She started officially dating the guy the day after we broke up, and he's quite sure they were hanging out before that. I laughed at that and told him what happened between us and that I figured the same. The man was middle manager at her company and well-known retail store chain with the round logo. She thought that man was separated from his wife and getting divorced. Well, not so much. She found out she was a side chick and did not take it well. She outed the guy to his wife. The wife outed him to the company with the big round red logo because my ex was one of his subordinates, not directly, but close. And everyone got fired, divorce filed, and dumped. The karma ship definitely came in for everyone. <laughs> oh, I love it. After hearing the story, I thought I would twist the knife a little bit more. If you'll remember, I was going to propose to my ex on our trip to Spain that was supposed to be last month. Nobody knew about that but, but me. I hadn't even spoken to her father about it at the time of the breakup, so I told the sister's boyfriend about it and how glad I was this happened before we got engaged. I knew that would get back to her. And boy, did it ever. That was a little torch in the hay barn for sure. About a week later, the phone calls and text messages from my ex were coming in. She would also stake out my house. I never responded and with some effort made myself completely unavailable to her. A month or so after the breakup, I started dating Mary. Not her real name, but close. We really like each other and it progressed quickly from casual dates to weekend long dates. She's a few years older than me. She is very pretty and very down to earth. Our future seems promising, but right now, the present is very nice. She is 100% up to date on the drama and no contact with my ex. I played her the video you made of this whole mess. As far as I know, my ex did not know about Mary, but she does now. Last Saturday, I was on a job and Mary took my dog for a walk to the Green Market in downtown West Palm Beach. My ex was there and Jack, the dog, ran up to her. That led to a tense conversation as, as my ex demanded to know who Mary was and what she was doing with Jack. As Mary is telling this story, I kept asking her, what did you say? Mary only gives me a devilish little smile and said, you won't be hearing from her again. After which my ex apparently left crying according to Mary. Mary is freaking awesome. The cool part about it all is you and the commenters on the original video predicted predicted some of this stuff was going to happen. I guess Mark Twain was right. 
History doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. Thank you again for your channel and the work you put into it. You're doing a great job and great work, True. Keep it up. By the way, I gave the tickets and the resort passes in Spain to my brother and his wife as an anniversary present. They had a blast. Wow. <laughs> I love it, man. Oh, I love feel good stories. This feels this feels good to me. You're you're happy in the end. You didn't let her bother you. And you went and you twisted that knife a little bit more. And the karma came back. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Salute to you, man. Salute to you, man. I, I, I'm, I, I love when you guys write in and you have these stories. I'd be so proud of you guys. You know, you, I, I'd be so proud of you guys. Like, yeah, you handled it well. You did what you were supposed to do. Smart man. Forget her, man. And look, I'm not one of those guys that say, oh, but you're dealing with somebody else. No, because most people, they're completely done with relationships like myself. I'm done with relationships. I would never tell you. No, you seem very happy. I don't I don't think that you would allow. I don't think you would put up with it because you like her. No, you're the type of guy that'll walk away. If it's not doing anything for you, if it's not helping you, if it's bringing you down, you are the type of guy that will throw your hands up and say, I don't need you. I just, I don't need you. And I like that. And I salute you for that. Do what you want to do. As long as you're happy and you're not hurting anybody that put you in jail or anything. Thanks for this update, man. I definitely remember your story three months ago. I remember it. Guys, let me know what you think about this update. Look, man, guys, we predicted what was going to happen. He said some of the things we said was going to happen and ended up happening, you know, and I like that. Mark Twain, is it? Mark Twain. History doesn't repeat but it does rhyme. I like that. I like that. Guys, let's check out another story. I, 25 year old female, cheated and dumped my boyfriend, 27 year old male, as I got to another city. Hmm. 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 The drama happens when I graduated and moved to another city. I felt like getting out of prison after staying with him for almost two years. Wow. I broke up with him after I settled down, like in two weeks. I made the decision because I thought it would be easier to cut the bond if I do so. Again, very selfish. And I couldn't act like I still care about him and pretend it was because of the long distance. I was out of my mind. To make it worse, I met another guy the week after and I started dating him. But then I was cheated and dumped by this new guy and somehow all my friends him included knew this nasty thing <laughs> oh so it backfired i love it after that i dated a couple of more guys hookups flings for half a year i was wasting my crap and now i feel sober and feel disgusted by myself my life and relationships i am the horrible person with clearly this pattern of behavior. I feel so hollow and I don't think I deserve anyone anymore. The start of the relationship was sweet but immoral. I was 21 when I met him and I had a significant other at that time. I sensed the chemistry but also told him that I had a boyfriend, intentionally hold it, held it for some weeks. I fell for him greatly and struggled for a while because I had a wonderful relationship with my boyfriend back then. Then we got together and I moved in with him soon after. He was being a sweetheart all the time. We informed friend circle. He helped me develop hobbies and helped me with my schoolwork. I broke up with him because we barely had sex life for almost a year. I couldn't get turned on no more, no matter what I got. This issue rises up around the beginning of our second year. I was being vocal about it telling him that I feel like breaking up, seriously, for two times, about nine months apart. He did not understand why this was a big deal and he has a low sex drive. I started crying during nights and even while watching movies, adult movies. To make this thing worse, I suggested open relationship 
or we should break up. And he agreed to open it, although I knew he would never do nothing about it. And he was unhappy for sure. I tried to hook up once, but it was horrible. So I told him there won't be a second time. I was being I was being an a-hole. As a as a retrospective, I don't think I love him anymore. And at that point, at that point, and that was the very reason why I couldn't get turned on. To add more to my life story, I had a sweetheart at middle school. And we were friends with feelings for almost three years. We started dating when we were 15, just hanging out type of dating. And my mom figured it out and she was crazy about it. She threatened me to break up with him and never contact that person. She even told me I was a cheap and she threatened the boy as well over the phone. She told me I could find someone better once I got to high school, which I stupidly and deeply believed in. So I broke up with my boyfriend without any proper closure. He texted occasionally for two years, crying for closure. I have no heart. It seems like I always held the ill mindset that I could find someone better and never knew how to love someone up till now. I don't know. I was in guilt for half a year and I had a hard time socializing. I think people would judge me and I am just afraid. I moved to another city to start a new life with more social connections and feel comfortable about it. I don't think I want to make friends with someone like me. How am I supposed to move on? Ma'am, you are a piece of crap. When did you write two days ago? You're a piece of crap. I'm just gonna sit straight up say it. You are a piece of work. You destroy every man you encounter. Leave men alone. I felt like I was in prison. We were together for two years. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get away. I got with this guy and I got bored. Yeah, you, 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 you're, you're, you're crapping on dudes in middle school and high school too. Telling those stories like you, you just leave men alone, men. We need to find out who this is and you young men need to stay away from her. Y'all need to stay away from her. Do not deal with this woman. She is evil. I'm glad she recognizes it. Wow. Let's check out the comments. I'm not understanding what you did wrong. If you dumped him, how is it cheating? Well, for starters, I would look into therapy, someone said. I don't think you're a bad person. At least you can admit you have a problem. That is a very very difficult cycle, and it sounds like you have some commitment problems. It is very difficult to heal from these kinds of cycles without help, so I suggest therapy. If you can't avoid that, I would look up some stuff related to your issue. Pinpoint the problem and then start looking up solutions. Here's OP. I just registered therapy. I wish I did so earlier so I might avoid these mistakes. Beating yourself up isn't to help isn't going to help, friend, except you made some mistakes, but don't punish yourself. You're putting the effort into into fix the problem. You can't change the past. Heart. Heart emoji. Wow. Meant to say if you can't afford. Look, man. This woman, yes, yeah, she does need help. But in the meantime, like she needs to leave men alone. Like you're just going around destroying men, crapping on men, treating them like crap. Men, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, she's disgusting. Let's see, she, so yeah, she, yeah, she only posted this two days ago. Wow. I was wondering if she had any other post or whatever. Yeah, she it, it, she admits it. She admits she's not a good person, which is shocking. It's not very common. We all know that reading these stories. So uh, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think about both stories. Again, for the first story, it was a um, subscriber email. Email. Uh, if you guys want to send in an email, send it to True Story Nation at gmail.com here i'll put it on the screen that's true story nation at gmail.com and i will catch you guys at the next one